As a competition to Sony's Android KDL series, Samsung has launched its own series called Smart Direct series and also coded as J5570 series 5 which runs on an in-house operating system called Tizen. This operating system is more optimized and is suitable for the TVs than the Android that Sony has adopted. This series has three models, 32 inches, 40 inches and 50 inches and they all have full HD display. All these models have the same features except the screen size. In this video, we will review the 50 inch version UA50 J5570AU. At the end of the video, I will compare uh, some features, pros and cons with the Sony's Android KDL series. This is a lightweight TV weighing approximately 13 kg and has sleek design. Bezels are thin. Down firing speakers are located at the either side of the bottom edges of the device. There are no physical buttons on this TV except the joystick which acts as an overall physical control part of the TV. There are three HDMI ports, two USB ports, one composite in, one mini audio out jack and a dongle ready port. It has a full HD display of 1920 x 1080p resolution. Samsung has put its uh, Hyper Real engine which displays more accurate colors and its mega contrast ratio helps display the dark parts more deeper than any other competitors in this range. Its quad core processor helps display the content without much strain. The viewing angles are really good. Samsung promises 170 degree viewing angle and it really does live up to that promise. There are two 20 watts down firing base reflex Dolby Digital Plus certified speakers which support HD sound as well. Speakers are not the best among the franchise however they do produce a clear and good quality sound. Viceroy seems to be enjoying a good share of his resources. This isn't a job everyone wants to do, my lord. A certain degree of comfort is necessary to keep... This TV runs on a TV optimized operating system called Tizen. This OS better suits the TV than the Android OS. It is easy to use and self explanatory. Application list is populated right at the bottom of the screen from which you can switch from one app to another and you can close them all together. There are many useful applications pre installed. You can also download thousands of applications from the online store. Unfortunately, it has only 2 GB of internal memory, which is a downside as you have to uninstall some of the apps to reinstall the new apps if the memory is full. It goes without saying that the TV supports the social networking apps like Facebook, Twitter, etc. It has an inbuilt user guide called eManual which is quite handy if confused about the functionalities of this TV. YouTube is pre-installed so there is no worry about online video streaming either. This TV supports LAN connection, Wi-Fi, and USB dongle as well which we do not see from any other manufacturers as of yet. So this makes this TV a unique choice for users who want to use their USB dongles for connecting to the internet. A 
apart from the usual uh, mobile to TV screen mirroring, this TV uniquely supports the other way around as well. You can mirror your TV to your smartphone and turn off the TV but still watch the content of the TV playing on your smartphone. You can take your TV in your smartphone within the Wi-Fi range that TV and your smartphone, su uh, smartphone supports. If you are watching YouTube or any other video and receive an incoming Skype call, then you can attend the call and get back to your previous task where it was left earlier. This device also has inbuilt security features. You can scan the external hard drive or you can also use it as a parental control for the web content. You can restrict the unwanted website access as well. The web browser is crisp and intuitive. You can also watch your TV channels while browsing the web. This is another unique feature in Samsung. It has an interesting feature called Indian Cinema Mode. In this mode, it basically adjusts the screen resolution, aspect ratio and contrast as per the screen size, making it more pleasure, pleasure to watch. So this was about the new Samsung J5570 Smart Direct TVs. Considering its features and its competitors, it's definitely a viable option to consider. These are some unique features of both Sony KDL series and Samsung Smart series. So please let me know what you think, which is your choice. Leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel for more reviews on latest gadgets. Thank you for